Hey, trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to wrap up this week with Don't Miss the Point. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is Jeremiah 48, 1 through chapter 49, verse 6, Psalm 119, 105 through verse 108, Proverbs 26, 17 through 19, and Philemon 1, uh, verse 1 through verse 25, which will continue, will get you through the book of Philemon. Your word is a light unto my feet, a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Psalm 119, verse 105 is our scripture for today. There are some who claim that having our feet sandaled with readiness of the gospel of peace means that we should always be ready to carry the gospel to others. That interpretation certainly fits Romans 10, 15. How beautiful are the feet of those who announce the gospel and, and good th of good things. But this is not, in my opinion, what Paul had in mind when he wrote the words of Ephesians 6.15. In Ephesians 6, the apostle is dealing with one uh, thing only, the Christian engagement with the enemy. He said, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil in verse 12. His purpose is to show us how to stand against the tactics of the enemy. Although Paul was an evangelist with a strong evangelistic spirit, he was not thinking here of evangelizing. Vital as it is, he was rather picturing a Christian who is under attack by the enemy, warning us that unless our feet are firmly shod, we can easily be knocked down and disabled. Those who claim that this phrase is the readiness of the gospel of peace relates to evangelism miss the point of his exposition. No one would deny the importance of always being ready to share Christ with others, but the readiness in which Paul is referring to here is the readiness to stand firm on the truths of the gospel. In other words, he is saying, don't get into a fight with the enemy in your bare feet. Make sure your feet are well shod. For if they are not, he will most certainly get the better of you. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, what a powerful week we've had. We are so grateful that you have breathed into us the, the servant Paul to write these illuminating words to us. They are inspired, for they inspire each one of us. Continue to teach us, Lord. We are hungry for more and more of your truth. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For further study on this subject, look at Psalm 119, verse 97 through 105, Isaiah 40, verse 8, 1 Peter 1, 23-25, and 2 Timothy 2, 15. And keep these two questions in mind as you read these passages. How did the psalmist view God's Word? And two, why is God's Word a sure foundation? God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I hope to see you on the next trail ride.